So let's dive right in and talk about self-care. So today on a call with a client, I asked um, how their self-care was going. Actually, it was a consultation call because my clients know well. <laughs> but I asked, uh, how's your self-care going? She said, well, I have a hair appointment um, later this week. So we've gotten used to thinking that getting a mani-pedi, um, getting our hair done, right, pampering ourselves is self-care. And that is a form of self-care. But there's what I would consider self-care that will propel you forward, that is better for your mental and emotional health. So that is what I want to talk to you about today. Here we go. When I talk to my clients about um, their emotional health and self-care, what is something that they can use to continue to grow, to heal. So one thing I do with my clients is we do EFT tapping. If you don't know what that is, it's emotional freedom technique. It's a tool that I teach my clients as an EFT practitioner to calm their nervous system, to be able to process and think through things and calm <laughs> their amygdala brain down. Um, it's also great for being proactive and you can use it on so many different things. Sometimes I recommend my clients do this uh, before work, right? If you're like, oh, work, it's a great time to do this. Um, release some pent up emotions, calm your nervous system, and really kind of catch some of those intrusive overthinking thoughts that are not helpful. Um, also on the way, back home from work, right? A lot of times we'll take that work baggage and frustrations and resentment and we'll bring it home and it will um, leak out over our family or whoever we encounter. Um, so it's that's one way that you can use that self-care tool. Um, another thing I do with my clients is the thought model. Um, and what that is, is it helps you manage your thoughts. Now, it might not sound like <laughs> more fun <laughs> than uh, getting a mani-pedi, but that process and learning that will help you be happier in the long term because we take these default, yucky, fearful, stressful thoughts and we think through them and we notice how our thoughts are connected to our feelings, which cause us to act in a certain way, which give us our results. If our thoughts are fearful thoughts, then they're, it's not gonna give us the results that we want. So keeping that in mind, we then start to play around with it and we start to be more intentional with the thoughts that we're thinking because we are not our thoughts. Let me know in the comments, do you know this? Do you know that you are not the thoughts that you have? We actually have some control over those. Um, but it takes being intentional. It takes a lot of practice. Uh, a lot of times over on TikTok Live, we will catch it because a lot of times people will use certain words and I'll have to make another video on this, on labels and choice. So on TikTok Live, when someone says, oh my gosh, that's so hard so hard to keep boundaries. It's so hard to say no. Whatever it is, we catch that word and we replace it with, which works most of the time, uh, the word unfamiliar. It's unfamiliar to set boundaries when you haven't before. It takes practice. So managing our thoughts takes practice. Having a self-care routine <laughs> Routine. Routine takes practice if that's something that hasn't been a priority early in our lives. So definitely let me know in the comments what your self-care routine looks like. Um, mine does involve, like I said, um, using a thought model, um, EFT. I do um, some journaling, meditation. Um, a variety of things. And some of them I, I mix in and out. Uh, but those are some of the ones that, oh, gratitude practice. Yes. 
Gratitude practice is something you can start today that will help you start to retrain your mind. I will be doing another future episode on your reticular activating system. Um, so maybe I'll do that one next so you can come back and you can watch that one. Um, and maybe I'll link it at the end. But the reticular activating system um, and is, is our filter. So check that one out. <gasps> Let's see if I can make a card so you can watch that one. Um, but it's important to retrain our brains. Start doing at least three gratitudes a day. I'm grateful for it. It doesn't have to be these huge, amazing things. It can be like, I'm grateful for this desk. It served me well. <laughs> I'm grateful for my comfy uh, bed. I'm grateful for AC and heat, right? Try not to get into a, a stage where you're just checking things off and doing them because you have to, but really sit with it and feel it. So if I think oh, I'm really grateful for my family and their patience and their accepting of me, no matter how weird I can be. <laughs> so start that today. Start to check into your self-care routine and see if it could you could add something to make your life even better. Um, if you would like to know what my... Um, strategies and tools that I give my clients that we work on together in one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, go ahead and sign up for a consultation call. Go to AnnieMHenderson.com and from there you can sign up for a call with me one-on-one -on -one, and we can talk about what's going on, what's your struggle, and make sure we set you up so that the rest of your life is better and better and better. And it's going to take more than Manny Petty's. So I'm here to help. All right. See you in the next video. Bye, everyone.